I'm Sarah Volkomerson. I'm here with the cast of Exorcist, which is going to premiere on September 23rd. Ben Daniels, Gina Davis, Alfonso Herrera, welcome. Thank you. Thank this you. is the scariest pilot. I'm just going to say it's going to be the scariest pilot of the fall because oh. it is, you know, inspired by one of the scariest movies of all time, of course, 1973 Exorcist. When did you guys all first see that movie? Oh, we were just talking about that. Really? Uh, yeah. 13. 14. 10. No. I think ten is too young. That's quite frankly. Yes. Oh. Uh, yes. My, well, actually, my my little brother, he was uh, yeah. probably seven years old. Oh, seven. Oh. So yes. Oh, it, it, oh he it, just it, liked the pretty green. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was it was scary for for both of us. I think he was, he had the worst part. It's it's a scary movie, but let's talk about how you guys are doing it differently for the show because you two are both playing priests, mm -hmm. different but very different kinds of priests. So why don't you go down and explain um, your father, the role? Uh, my fa uh, <laughs> I play Father Marcus Keane, who is the exorcist, and he's been an exorcist for forty-one years, um, uh, and he is from a very working-class, impoverished, quite violent background. An event happens to him when he's like about seven or eight that uh, sort of leaves him with this um, pent up rage, which he uses in his work, but it also makes him very abrupt and abrasive. And when we meet him, he's in a complicated state where he's quite raw and unpredictable. That is a good script. That's, that's me. Yes, it's very it good. Is, it is. Uh, Despite your sunny personality, <laughs> you're very different in the show. <laughs> Uh, well, my character is Tomas Ortega. He is a priest that has this little parish outside Chicago, in the suburbs of Chicago. He has... Uh, <laughs> so sweet. Oh, oh. so sweet. Oh, you're <laughs> and he has a very quiet, easy life. He has this... Uh, he has a very good relationship with the, his congregation. Mm -hmm. But suddenly, uh, this event... Uh, Gina Davis' character, Angela, comes to for help for Tomas, and uh, that single event is going to change his life forever, and not just his life, but also Angela's life and yeah. uh, Father Martin's life. life. Is it fair to say it's, you're, you're getting sort of visions, supernatural visions of things happening outside the nice suburbs of Chicago? Yes, those visions start to occur, and that's in a way the the link mm -hmm. and how we start to connect how father marcus and father tomas connect to in a way get this uh, plan or mm -hmm. to to have this purpose of fighting these <laughs> evil spirits <laughs> <laughs> and gina of course it's your household we won't yes. reveal who in the household is having right some trouble right but what did what Although it's not me it's not you <laughs> oh it's a spoiler oh it's i did you. Well, yeah okay um but what made you want to do this because it's been a while since we, you know it's tv and yeah well, you know, i i loved it i'll, I'll work anytime <laughs> as long as it's something good <laughs> and i loved it i really yeah. loved the pilot and i love everybody working on it and uh uh it's really exciting i mean i i was tremendously impacted by the movie as yes. pretty much anybody I've ever met it was and uh, and this is such a cool take on it because it acknowledges that that actually happened mm -hmm. so this is now whatever 40 years later 40 plus years later and oh uh, something starts happening again and uh, it's something in my family is going on. So, and, yeah. yeah, I was saying to these guys, there's these little hints from the movie that right. are like sprinkled through right. the uh, episode, which is great. But for me, I was like, what about the music? Because uh, you have like a Pavlovian reaction when you hear the, yeah. you know? And then I will say, it does come in. And oh, it's still spoiler. really, listen, spoiler. it's scary. I just want people to be aware of what they're going to be dealing with. It's scary. So can you tease what's going to happen during the rest of the season? Like, what are we going to be seeing? Um, it gets worse. No. It's a lot worse. <laughs> you guys don't fix everything and go drinking? It's That'd be nice. super We scary. might go drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there has to be some heavy drinking. I read some of the things that happen. But, but Not it, necessarily it, alcohol. Oh. It gets... Oh. What? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just making it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fake stories. Aliens are involved. No. Uh, <laughs> but no, it gets... It gets it, 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 it gets bigger. It gets, it gets bigger, bigger and scarier. It becomes a bigger and bigger problem, and it's super scary. Are yeah. you, has this made you guys start believing in, in demons? <sighs> well, weirdly, I, uh -oh. I, it's always lived. I'm a complete horror film nut, and it's oh, yeah. always lived in a very fictional area for me. And when I work as an actor, I do as much research as I can. So I was like, okay, 
yeah, he thinks this is real. And then I started to delve into it all and got completely terrified. Really? Yeah. And it's sort of there in every culture, you know, whether it's Catholic or in the jungle or, you know, it's there in every culture that people get possessed and then someone can cure them of their possession. And even, um, yeah, it just started to freak me out. I slept <laughs> with the lights on a couple of nights. Did you Chicago. really? I'm completely rational. But and I spoke to, I went to see a priest and I thought, well, the priest will just like tell me how it is. And then he, even he was like, you know, he said a couple of things and I was like, really? And it was a, like a chance to really question someone. And he didn't make me feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah. Has, are you guys sleeping with the lights on? Uh, uh, I <laughs> get scared quite easily, with, especially with horror films at the, at the beginning. So you can imagine my experience with when I first saw The Exorcist. <laughs> but I, I do think that uh, light and darkness exist. And I think that evil and evil forces exist, and especially uh, I, th I think this balance, this <laughs> This balance exists, and it's uh, what we're trying to portray in this in this uh, pilot in this show is this fight and this this war that exists has existed since the beginning of times. Mm -hmm. It's very heady stuff. <laughs> it is. Um, well, thanks so much for coming in, everybody. Watch Exorcist September twenty third on Fox. Thanks.